Hello, I'm Minefiend and welcome to this Minecraft Extra uh, update for 25th of June uh, 2014. Now, um, for the last week or so, when I've had a chance to play Minecraft, um, I've been coming down into the Underhive, as I've shown in other updates and carried on the digging, but I've put quite a bit of effort in and got a fair bit further. In fact, I've actually got as deep as I'm going to go now. That's just above the bedrock, bedrock layer. Um, probably about layer 7, I would imagine. Um, but I'll just come up to the auto cart and uh, show you from up there because you get much better view of the size of the hole. Uh, in fact, yes, I have. Um, I'll just put those back in there. Oh, no, the auto cart went off. I didn't get them in quick enough for it to... Uh, stop it. Um, as you can see, uh, we're just below the ocean here. The hive is built above an ocean. Um, it's quite a deep ocean in this point. It comes down from about there to just above here. Uh, there was an abandoned mine shaft in here. And I've been digging out this quadrant of the hive. Well, the under hive. There's my beacon below. Uh, there's the cart. Now it's going to fill, and then it's going to go once it's once it's filled. It's going to take it all off and upload it for me and put it in chests. Very nice of it. Um, but now that I'm down where the riches are, down here, uh, I'm left with a choice because I'm at the lava layer, as you can see. Now a lot of it is already um, turned into obsidian from previous mining expeditions um, uh, before the hive was completely conquered I suppose uh, and the amount of lava that's down here is vast and I don't really want to get rid of it all there's a choice you see I can turn it to obsidian and store the obsidian which I've got about two double chests full of that already um, I can just fill the lava in and then dig out what I fill it in so the lava's destroyed I can put the lava into buckets but I've already got um, one double chest full of buckets uh, so what I'm going to try and do for just some of the lava not all of it is I'm going to try and rescue it uh, need two more buckets full I think there's some down under here um, I'm going to try and rescue the the lava, um, as much of it as I can do. Yeah, there's some under here. As you can see, I'm at bedrock here. And I'm going to store it. Now, not for any particular use, but you never know what you'll want when in Minecraft. And part of my philosophy is uh, storing as much as possible uh, just in case I might ever need it. Probably won't. As you can see, I'm overrun with slimes down here now because the area is so well lit up that the only things left that can spawn, really, apart from in the actual mob system itself, are the slimes. Uh, I'm going to partition off the rest of the chunks to make sure I know which are slime chunks and which aren't. That's what the fences are for. And then... Uh, probably make more of a farm. Um, seem to have lost the game sounds for the minecart. Oh well. Um, as you can see, when we get up to the hive, I've decided I'm going to store some of the lava. Not a lot. A small fraction of it really. Small fraction of the lava, but just in case, you know, you're ever building anything, some sort of nether style temple. Um, I did build this round sphere here is a nether dome and I did use quite a bit of lava in there. I have to be careful doing this. Now the point of my update uh, was two things. Uh, first of all I want to show you uh, something that uh, I recorded a few days ago um, with Narlo. Uh, he was showing me 
a build he's been working on. Now, Narlo building in itself is um, an amazing thing to see. But I love the pro minecrafting that's gone into this. He's not just making a build. He's making a build to justify the build and to uh, flesh out the reality of the build. And as you'll see, I'll um, show you what I recorded. Now, there is something rather interesting that happens while I'm recording this. And you'll see, you'll know what I, you mean, what I'm talking about when you see it, uh, which just goes to show that try and keep your head in all situations, and anything could be possible. <laughs> but uh, I'll show you that, and then I'll see you in a moment. Yeah, this is impressive. How long would you say it's taken you to build this crane then? Oh, a couple hours. Wow. And that's so that you can install your chimney above your furnace room. Yep. Yep. Because I've taken as high as the dwarves will take it now. I can't go any further with them. They they're refusing, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to have well, to carry the rest of the materials up here by crane. Can't get the staff all the help. Uh I can't get any good help anymore, I tell you. Control cockpit over on this side. Oh, wow. And a real nice view of the whole island and everything up here. It really is. You can see your uh, minecart track mm -hmm. and the TARDIS that Dwendon built for you. Yep. Oh, I've never been high enough to be able to see the top of the TARDIS. He's actually built mm -hmm. the, the light on it, has he? Wonder if what yeah, he has. Yeah. Had he used glowstone for it or anything? Uh, I th there is glowstone up there. Yeah, the uh, the ring around the uh, the the actual light part around the TARDIS. I think is glowstone. Shall we climb up with water buckets and see? <laughs> or is there a way up? Then up here is where the the walkway that goes back to the uh, counterbalance will be. Well, oh, very nice. It can get out of trap doors, and it's going to have fences on both sides here. And yeah. the actual counterbalance will be hanging back here on this side. What do you reckon? A, a five by five by five um, block of stone or something? Um. Well, three, but probably three by five. Three, three by, by five, five. Three by three by five. Because hmm. uh, all the pictures of the cranes that I've been looking at, the uh, the counterbalance is as wide as the the walkway here. Yeah. And then it's just a choice of you know, do I want it hang sticking up above the walkway or hanging down below the walkway? Because it seems to be spill out about fifty fifty. How they do that, so. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with the build. I think it's come out pretty good here. Yep. I just need to put redstone torches out on it to uh, stand for the uh, the red warning lights that they have to keep the planes and the blimps off of it. Wow. Oops. Let me pop over here right quick. I can breed my cows again. You can actually see down through the chimney down to your uh, furnace room where the boy. Oh! Stay here, stay here! Whoa! I did it! I did it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, lucky you! Yeah, not lucky me, that was skill. I, I reacted in time. I realised what was happening. <laughs> yes, that's what, exactly what I meant. Lucky you. Somebody's <laughs> built his crane so that you can fall through the fences. Yes, you can. That was my first fall. Oh, well, don't bother telling me when I'm standing out <laughs> on them. <laughs> Where the hell are my cows gone? <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you might want to watch that. You can fall through the uh, fences there, you know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know what to do if you do fall. Steer for water. <laughs> I thought I was just stupid. You are? I thought, yeah. <laughs> I 
I mean, I would have mentioned it to you, but damn, I thought I was just stupid. I thought everybody I, I was like, I wasn't even going to mention I fall through the fences because I figured you go, well, of course, got to be careful about those things. <laughs> Hal, why are you up in the tree? Two of my cows are up in the trees over here. And they're trying to get away from your bizarre sexual experiments with them. Apparently so. How the heck did y'all get up there? Doesn't even make sense. That's a really cool looking crane. And I really appreciate the fact that you, you've gone to all that trouble to make it look like you're building the uh, chimney when you can just build the chimney and that'd be <laughs> it, you know. But yeah, uh, that's pro gaming Minecraft, that. <laughs> really nice. Thank you, sir. And yes, the uh, foundation rock does go all the way down to rock two down here. Yep. Mine fiend approves. Turn that way. See, you can build things. <laughs> Which is why it ticks me off when you don't. <laughs> I just don't get inspired to do it that often. I mean, I have plenty of ideas. I've got a notebook over here full of ideas that I'm going to work on. Yep. Like I say, it's because you spend all your time over at my place doing things well, with me. I prefer socializing. I do. Oh, good grief, do you? Why would yeah, anybody want to do that? <laughs> Gosh. What's the point of playing multiplayer if you have to play it with other people? <laughs> I don't agree with you there. <laughs> but what can you do? Yeah. So this is the, down to the interior of, of, of your boiler, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That yeah. goes down to the into the actual boiler there. So let me go down and have a look at the boiler room itself. It's pretty bright put, during the daytime. You That's why I had the cap on it. Yeah. Well, you've put your fire down, um, haven't you? Uh, the fire down at the bottom of the... Yeah. Um... The, the glass with the... Yeah, you were helping me that day. Yes. When we were down inside, in actual inside the... Uh, inside the, the ring of... Uh, yeah, the, of the boiler to make it heat boilers the water. Boilers there, yeah, the ring of furnaces. See if I can remember the way. So at the moment, daylight will come down that chimney, won't it, and brighten it up? It does, yeah. Daylight comes down. And... Well, I was showing it to Dwindon the other day. It was actually it was snowing down in there. You could see the snow filtering down on top of the water because it was snowing outside. Yeah. Now, I'm at your exhibition hall, no cameras sign. Is it to the left or to the right? To the go to the left, go up. Yeah, and down the hall. Mm-hmm. Go into the, uh, the storage not, not area. The armory. The... Collections, yeah. Yep, collections room and all the way to the end of the hall. Yep, see a mine thing going down the stairs there. I see you circling round and round. <laughs> I can hear slime. Oh, there you are, you're in the water. Yay! You actually come down the chimney into the boiler. Ooh, gnarl or soup. What, you've never seen a mermaid before? <laughs> <laughs> I really like how you've done this with the stone, br with the red, red brick and everything, and then the furnaces. Thank you. How many did we work it out as you've got? You've got 20 by. Um, 20 on each side, so you've got 80 furnaces. And then this yep. really, really clever catwalk. I love this catwalk. Oh yeah, we can just about see the flames coming up from the water. Mm-hmm. Boiling up the on, water. Yeah, when you're on the catwalk, you can definitely see them on the other side. 
And yeah, the, the smoke coming up through the water does look something like uh, bubbles rising, so. A sufficient enough simulation. Yes, yes. Oh, very cool. It'll be much nicer whenever I get the uh, get the cap on up here. Finish the chimney and cap it off so that the light doesn't shine in. Yeah. That'll be what I do, what I figure out how I'm going to do that once I get the, uh, the tower finished. And have you have you Finish got the, the, the idea for the chimney in place? You know what you're going to do with it? A couple of ideas. I've just got to decide which way I want to go. I don't know if I want the chimney forked out or whether I just want it to go up and have a lip around the top. I'll probably draw out both both plans in dirt blocks here and then uh, figure out which way I want to go with it. And as you saw, I managed to survive a fall that should have been instant death, really, uh, by quick thinking uh, in the air and steering for the water. But what a beautiful build that crane is, and I love the, the way he's... He's building a chimney, but to show the chimney going up, he's taken the time to build the crane that builds the chimney. <laughs> I just, oh, that that really is absolute genius, absolute genius. Um, props to you, my good friend, for that. Now, um, I will actually just take you around and show you as a um, that I do use. Uh, lava in some builds so it's not quite as daft as it seems as you can see in here I've got the nether sphere and I've got a pool of lava down there I've got lava running down from uh, the walls so you never know when you will want it these doors these doors are my bane come on Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, and I used it inside the workshop as well. Um, used lava coming down the sides there, and there's lava at the back there of the cobblestone generator in case I wanted to ever generate cobble. Now, I've left the tough topic for the last. I uh, didn't want to bring you down before I showed you now this thing. And I want to say why I've not been uploading so much recently. Um, and that's because uh, my grandmother has lost a sight in one of her eyes. Um, she had one good eye and one bad eye. The bad eye was only a 6 of 36 score. Um, but her good eye was okay and she was she was fine for seeing things um but sadly the other day um she saw like a lot of bright colors and then lost vision entirely uh you know, it turns out after trips to uh, the accident and emergency in the hospital and getting the professionals um uh, the eye specialists in to check on it it turns out what's happened is that some somewhere in a body a blood cl has clotted and it's flowed through her veins and uh, into not through her veins through her arteries and everything etc. Um, into her eye and then it's lodged in her eye. Uh, unfortunately, they say that's um, permanent. She's uh, completely going to. She's never going to regain the vision in that eye now, uh, which is a very sad thing, um, very tough. And she's dealt with it rather well, actually. But it means I've been um, spending time with her, looking after her, helping her do things that she can't now see to do. There you go. Um, so I haven't had the time for making the videos, not loading the videos. Um, and when I have had a chance to play, it's just been a case of I just wanted to relax because it's been very tough. 
Uh, so I just thought I'd let you know where they are. I'm not going away. Um, we'll be back to making videos at some point. Uh, it's just a case of at the moment things are going to be um, unscheduled, I suppose. Um, I'll make what I can when I can upload anything I've already got recorded. Um, and I hope you understand. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what I've been up to when I have a chance down here as well now. Uh, so, I'll say thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Mindfiend. You guys, as always, have been wonderful. Um, and bye for now.